extreme thinking. It's learning how to trust what is in your present place of right now. To get there requires practice. Here's what I do. One sheet of paper every day. I give myself 10 minutes. Write about whatever is moving through your presence of now with absolutely no judgment. Stream thinking sharpens your skills as a listener, as a communicator, and as an activator. Learning how to trust what is right now. This is stream thinking. Today we're reading from January 30th, 2024. We live in an age where what we say can be totally misunderstood. It can help create a moment of global ghosting. Rather than be that voice, so many people have chosen to stop speaking. And we see how nations are brutally attacking each other. And how criminals are allowed to believe that they're the second coming of Christ. It's how they use their words and their thoughts. While the silenced generation patiently waits for the intruder to walk away, they're learning one thing. He's only getting stronger. Darth Vader is wanting to change not only this nation, but every dictator on the planet. And what happens if he does? I wasn't thinking of anybody when it came to writing that on January 30th, 2024. It was just that inner fear of what happens when somebody with a voice is a lot louder than those who have stopped using their voice. Being an activator doesn't mean that you have to be out on the street to participate with with protests and or riots. Being an activator is using your own personal experiences and studying the paths of other ones by way of empathy as well as sympathy and learning how to work stronger with your community. Becoming a part of the atmosphere. It means using your voice, your actions, and maintaining your reactions. That's an important part about being an activator. Because if you get overzealous and overdo what it is that you're trying to bring forward, people will then look away. But we are at a tipping point on this planet where we need activators. Sitting on the sidelines isn't enough. One of the things that I learned in becoming a third degree black belt, and there's a side of my ego that doesn't understand it, but maybe we can learn from this. A martial artist is not trained to go into a fight that they created. If there is a sign of trouble, you walk around it. If you get in trouble, it's not to take them out. It is to try to get away. Do you understand the difference between being somebody who is reacting in the wrong way versus what is the greater way? My combat karate instructor once looked at me and he goes, no, no, no. Do not go into this match expecting to stay on the inside. We don't need blood. Once again, the ego is going, but I I thought, you know, I, I watched the movies. We don't need blood to which he followed with AIDS AIDS will kill you learn to walk around or don't face it all basically the moral or the roots of this story is all about we know there is something wrong we can activate ourselves to help correct what is wrong in the community but it doesn't mean you have to jump into the community and create a firestorm walking around it means let's talk about it let's go in there with a clearer mind and a more educated approach to how we can correct a situation but to go in there uneducated to go in there unrehearsed to go in there and think that we're going to make a difference this fast that's the mistake becoming an activator means allowing others to be aware. Use your voice. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.